Hello everyone, welcome to this video on one sample Wilcoxon test. Today we will look at the details of the one sample Wilcoxon test and how it is done on Minitab. One sample Wilcoxon test is used to estimate the median of a population. It compares the median to a target or reference value and calculates a range of values that is likely to include the population median. This is a non-parametric alternative of the one sample t-test. We use this test when x or the independent variable is discrete and y or the dependent variable is continuous. Assumptions for this test are that data is from a symmetric population. It does not need to be normally distributed. Sample data is selected randomly and observations should be independent from each other. Null hypothesis for one sample Wilcoxon test is eta is equal to eta zero and alternative hypothesis could be either not equal to, greater than or less than depending on whether it is a two-tailed or one-tailed test. This Greek symbol is called eta. Eta here is the population median and eta zero is the hypothesized median. It is very important to note here that if assumption of symmetry fails, we use one sample sign test. Test statistic for a one sample Wilcoxon test is equal to the number of pairwise averages or Walsh averages that are greater than the hypothesized median plus half of the number of paired averages that are equal to the hypothesized median. Let me tell you here what a Walsh average is or a pairwise average is. So these are the means of each possible pair of values in your data set, including the pair of each value with itself. For example, we have two data points in our data set, one and three. So it, this data set can have three pairs, one paired with itself, three paired with itself, and one paired with three. And each pair would have an average. So the pairwise averages are the means of these pairs and this data set can have three pairwise averages, one, two, and three. I hope you got this point here. Well, so moving on to the rejection criteria. So this is basis, the comparison between the test statistic and the critical value that is calculated from statistical table using the significance level alpha and the number of observations. If test statistic is greater than the critical value, then we reject the null hypothesis. Here are the steps to conduct a one sample Wilcoxon test. We will not go into the details of these, these steps because we are familiar with them from our previous videos on hypothesis testing. So let's just see that yes, we have the steps here and this is what we need to follow. So let me bring up a very common scenario here from our professional lives. Say, for example, we wish to compare the overall satisfaction of customer type 1 against a specified benchmark satisfaction of 5. In such cases, we can use our non-parametric distribution-free one sample Wilcoxon test. See, it seems like anything that we want to test, statistics has an answer to it. It's amazing. Well, now let's quickly see how we conduct a one sample Wilcoxon test on Minitab. We click on stat non-parametrics and one sample Wilcoxon. We then enter the difference score in variables box. We keep the test median at zero and alternative hypothesis at not equal to. Minitab normally does the test at 95% level of confidence. If we wish to change this percentage, we can change it here in the confidence interval level box. Now, here is the sample Minitab output, the descriptive statistics. We are primarily concerned with the p-value here. So if p-value is less than the significance level, we would reject the null hypothesis, which would mean that there is a statistically significant difference between the median and the reference value. Well, with this we conclude our discussion on one sample Wilcoxon test today. Thank you very much for your time and please do get in touch with me for any queries or feedback. 
You can also subscribe to the channel to stay updated on future videos. Stay tuned for our next video on non-parametric tests. Till then, enjoy learning. Bye-bye.